It was my first day of work here in August 2006, and I went to lunch with our executive director, Michael Goldfarb. And we sat down, and Michael looked at me and said, it's time for our people to go to college. I want them to go to college. We need to be in college. Those were my marching orders. In September of 2008, we opened our doors at Kingsborough Community College to eight young people who had just graduated from high schools in Brooklyn. And we opened a second Melissa Riggio higher education program at the College of Staten Island and opened our doors to four incredible young high school graduates with intellectual disabilities. Colleges are seats of diversity and social justice, so we fit in. We're, we're just another part of humanity that's gonna change the world for the generations. We are a day habilitative program without walls in a college setting. They are taking a wide range of courses anywhere from astronomy to English classes to health classes with the entire student body of the college. Our students are supported throughout the college day by student mentors. These are young people who attend the colleges who do not have intellectual disabilities. They go to class with our students, they help with note-taking, they're part of study teams, they eat lunch together. They are your direct care staff. They are your job coach if necessary. They are a friend. No one has a dream that's unrealistic. Everyone has a dream that challenges us to say, how do we support the journey to this dream? I was hoping to work in a preschool with children, and um, that's what I'm doing now. I'm continuing to get my certificate so that could happen. I would like to be an English teacher because I, I like to help the older Chinese people learn English. They call me Professor Chow. I always wanted to write, get into Fiction, poetry, the classics. I'm, I'm like, I get this nice opportunity. I was happy and excited. At the same time, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to college. I would say there are many things you can learn from here, like how to be more independent how to go on the community and learn new things. There's a, a tremendous tenacity to succeed in whatever they're doing here because for so long they've been told that they, f they can't do this and they can do that. And, and here we promote anything that they're willing to try, we're gonna promote for them to do it the best that they can possibly do it. We need to thank AHRC New York City Foundation for funding the Melissa Riggio Higher Education Scholarship Program. 